Hi you guys, here we go, let's get started. So we're gonna use the Art uh, Library palette from MAC Cosmetics and I'm gonna use this color right here, it's called Everyone's Darling. And I typically use this color for my brows, uh, it's a little more burgundy, but I change my color here all the time, so I always like to match. Um, I start towards the bottom and go towards my arch going up and down. Make sure you blend in all the areas. I use an angle brush for this and make sure they're well covered. Then we'll use Painterly as a eye base. I like to uh, give a shape towards my brows with that. And also since it's an eye base, it's great for um, placing shadows on top and they stay longer so make sure you do your shape and then after that a blend with your finger because we need to make sure it's super smooth for uh, transitioning your shadows on top then we'll use the sultry anastasia palette and we're going to use this color right here it's called birch and i'm using a blending brush starting on the outer corner of the eye towards my crease blending back and forth um, i kind of add the color a couple times and um, make sure you add the intensity needed uh, in both eyes it's a really really soft brown um, really good for every day if you want to Then we're gonna use this color right here, it's called Dada Issues. And I'm placing the same color on top of the other color, uh, Birch, uh, just to create a little bit more intensity of that brown. Then we'll add our highlight. This is the name of the highlight, and we're doing that under our brows and uh, removing any excess of lining that the brown left on the area. Then we're gonna use Noir from the Anastasia palette. Uh, this eyeshadow is pretty dark. It's matte finish, it doesn't have any shimmer. Um, since we're doing a Catwoman, uh, we're gonna make the eyes pretty prominent and pretty dark. But I started little by little. This brush is dual, so you have one side that is blend, like a fluffy blending brush, and the other side is more flat. So I'm using the flat to apply color, and I'm using the other side to blend the product. Make sure you take your time, be patient, add as much product needed, but I'm doing it little by little to um, make sure I have the intensity and the desired amount of product that I want. I really, really want it really dark, so I'm taking my time on adding color and blending as I go through. As you know, matte colors are not easy to blend, so um, just really have to take your time on applying and blending as you go. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit darker now, especially on the outer corners of the eye that I'm placing a little bit more of that and going towards the inside of the eye, blending it through. But I really, really take my time on working with the black because we don't want a bruised eye. We want a smoky eye, not a bruised eye. Applying a little bit more of that black towards the inside of the eye, making it more smoky now and blending as I go. I'm using the same brown. Oops, as you can see, <laughs> I added the wrong color. This is the color that I just added, so I placed it right there for you guys to see. Well, I made a mistake, but it's okay. We're gonna go with that. So, um, and it actually works a little bit better. I apply a little bit more highlight, um, to blend any edges and going back with the same color to uh, blend the makeup then I'm gonna use brush black as a liquid pen from MAC cosmetics and the brush is pretty thin um, so I want to make sure the eyeliner that I create is a little bit thicker than usual I want this cat eye pretty sultry sexy um, and dramatic so I am going to take my time on making sure the line 
um, is a little precise, especially on the outside of the eye. Uh, a little tip, make sure you use, you do the liner on the eye that you struggle the most because you know the next eye that you do is gonna come out perfect. If you start with the eye that you love the most, then the other eye is not gonna look the same. Then I'm gonna get a makeup wipe and I'm gonna clean any excess of makeup towards the nose, outer edges on the bottom of the eyes, everywhere so it's super crisp and clean. Now we're gonna use Warm Cosmetics uh, lashes in um, Halo. Those are the name of the lashes. These lashes are gorgeous. So I start towards the middle of the eye, placing on the outer side of the eye and then inside of the eye. Uh, take your time. I know sometimes lashes can be a little difficult. If you need to do adjustments on cutting or anything like that, go for it. I did use tweezers to make sure I have precision with my hands and do the right application on the lashes. I'm using Bad Gal uh, Lash uh, Mascara from Benefit. I'm making sure my lashes and the lashes that I just applied are together and we don't see any gaps or whatsoever in between. So lots of mascara. Then I'm gonna use Becca Primer. It's an illuminating primer, so um, I really wanted that glow towards my skin. So yes, it's beautiful. Born This Way Concealer, I am applying this towards the bottom of my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape is a little lighter, so I wanted to mix both of them and uh, use it as my agent of um, concealer. Highlighting under my eyes and center of the face. It is a little bit more application than usual, but I really wanted this makeup to look a little bit more dramatic. So that's why I'm adding a little bit extra. And who doesn't love extra? Well, at least I do. But you don't have to do as much if you don't need to. Then I'm gonna use a Born This Way foundation um, from Too Faced and I'm gonna apply that on the areas that I missed concealer. I am using a flat brush for this, by the way. Then for setting powder, I'm using Beauty Bakery uh, Cassava Loose Powder, starting with a flat brush under my eyes first, center of the face, and then a fluffy brush everywhere else. Becca Bronzer, love this bronzer. It has a beautiful luminosity towards the skin. And I'm making sure the skin is super bronze and contour for this look, since later on we're gonna do at a big step that we need that contour to be a little extra dramatic. Then Becca highlight a uh, champagne pop. We're gonna do that on top of the cheeks. Beautiful, super glowy. Then black track eyeliner. We're gonna use this gel liner for the waterline of my, uh, inside of the eye. And then the same liner that I used prior, the liquid pen from uh, MAC. I'm doing a wing on the inside of the eye going towards the bottom of the eye lashes i'm creating a full line down there because later on i'm going to smudge it in and make it super sultry and smoky and then the same shadows i use on top the brown and the black i'm going to apply with the blending brush and we're going to blend and smudge towards the outside of those colors as you notice, a little bit on the end, I did a little highlighter to blend together. A little bit of the same highlight for the inner corners of that wing on the inside. It will make it pop, but also it will make more detail line. It will make those lines a little more detail when you look at them.
do you guys think? Oh my god, my hair is a mess. I can't. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do this lip liner from Cherry. It's a, a MAC lip liner. I'm gonna go outer, bottom, top, and I also go on the inside of my lip. Then I'll use the Dior Liquid Lip 999 on top of that. It's a little more red tone to it, but it'll make it brighter and it'll stand out more. Then um, I go back with details with foundation if I have anything to fix with the lip. And a little more mascara on the bottom of my lashes because I forgot. I always need that extra. Now I'm going to use Mayron Black Water Paint. Um, you guys do not have to use water paint or any paint if you don't want to. You can use a black liner. Uh, especially a thin liner if you want to you can do liquid you can do gel you can do pencil i rather use the paint because i have it and it's easier with a really thin brush create the mask that you desire it's up to you how how thick you want the mask to be i did create it my mask on top of my uh, forehead a little bit thicker than the bottom uh, but however you guys like to I just did it all black because it makes it more simple um, that way you have like the details imagine if you put in this black that I didn't do it but you guys can add glitter to the black and it'll make it super pretty and that will be an extra um, detail on the mask I think that would be really nice but I go create my shape go around the edges of the makeup and on the bottom i just did more of a line than anything but i do not cover my brows or my eyes because i want to make sure those stand out and go over any details um, that i want to fix in thickness And like I said, I'm using a really thin brush to do the application. Then the same shadows I use on my eyes, I'm using that brown to create a little extra um, high, not like a shadow towards the bottom so it can look like I have a mask on. And then I do the same thing on top of my eyebrows so it can look like it's a little bit of lifting the mask so it can look a little realistic. So on the top of my brows, I use a little black and a little brown for that part. And on my nose area as well. Then I use a little bit of the Champagne Pop highlight and then I go in certain areas of the face on top of my brows to create a little glow. Yeah, just adding that little extra glow and this is the end result thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoy the video and thank you for joining and subscribing to makeup by tri